now let us try to solve this question which says that uh, there is a circular coil of radius 10 centimeters 500 turns resistance 2 ohm placed with its plane perpendicular to the horizontal component of the magnetic field earth's magnetic field it is rotated about its vertical dia vertical dia through 180 degree in 0.25 second estimate the magnitude of the emf and current induced in the coil horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field at the place is 3 to 10 to the power minus 5 tesla okay <coughs> now let us say i have this as my circular coil fine and i assume assume that the earth's magnetic field is coming out of the plane okay and and what has happened since it is absolutely perpendicular to the plane of the coil it is perpendicular to the plane of the coil so it is actually parallel to the area vector i consider my area vector to be something like this okay so this is my this is my circular coil and i consider i consider i could have also considered it like that fine no issues but here i consider it to be in the same direction as the magnetic field and magnetic field is coming out of the board okay now what happens so so this this is my phi 1 okay so this is my phi 1 what is my phi 1 phi 1 is equal to b into a into cos what is the angle between the magnetic field and my area vector this is my this is the direction of my my magnetic field and this is this is the direction of my area vector and this is the direction of my magnetic field the angle between them is zero, zero. how do we find out that angle only when you have brought the tails of the vectors together if they are not together you'll bring it together how do you bring it together by moving them parallel to themselves right so so it is b into a into cos zero. 0 degree now what is b 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 what is a a is a and and you'll have to write the number of turns also this is only for one turn b a cos 0 is for one turn the number of turns is 500 so you'll have to write 500 into 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 into pi r squared so that is pi into 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 squared we understand now what is that value that value comes out to be to be i'm using calculator 500 into 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 into pi into into 0 0.01 so that is equal to 4.72 into 10 to the power minus 4 so that becomes 4.72 into 10 to the power minus 4 Weber what is phi 2 now about this dia about a vertical dia like that i rotated it by 180 degrees you understand now my area vector also got rotated in the process it became like that okay no it was like this i rotated it by 180 degrees so along with that my area vector also got rotated and my field still remains in the same direction obviously the earth, it is earth's magnetic field it's not going to change now what is the angle 180 degrees right so so it becomes n b a n b a cos 180 degree 
and this makes it minus a in b a and hence it becomes negative of that so i do not have to do that calculation right now what is the change in the flux that is nothing but phi 2 minus phi 1 which is minus 4.72 minus 4.72 into 10 to the power minus 4 which is minus 9.44 into 10 to the power minus 4 Weber okay and what is the time delta t is equal to 0.25 seconds so e is 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 delta phi upon delta t which is minus 9.44 that does not matter actually divided by 0.25 that gives me four times this right ten to the power minus four so that becomes three point seven seven six into ten to the power minus three volts okay and but you should understand one thing this is the average emf that is being induced it is possible for us to find out the instantaneous values but this is average fine this is average and and so so this is my emf and my current i will be 3.776 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 2 which is 1 point 1.9 no 1.888 right into 10 to the power minus 3 obviously I, I i'll not be allowed so many significant figures so maybe 1.9 into 10 to the power minus 3 amperes so so your current is e is 3 point about 3.8 millivolts and the current is 1.9 milliamperes I can I can so now you understand so it this thing tells me that if I take a coil and rotate it in a field which is say stronger than earth's field I can make my own fields right I can use an electromagnet to, to create very powerful fields right so if I make my own field and in between that I rotate a coil it will it will generate voltage and hence is capable of supplying me with current so what has happened this is what the generator is all about what do you do you actually set up two magnets preferably electromagnets and then you take a coil put it over a rotor and rotate it as fast as you want okay faster you go higher will be the voltage you see in 0.25 second it turned by half a turn right it took half a turn in 0.25 second if i have that i make it faster i make the speed faster what happens this voltage will become double why because delta t is here if this becomes half this becomes twice and try to think there are 500 turns fine if i make say 10000 turns just with earth's magnetic field we are able to generate that kind of voltage okay it looks very small a voltage but it is not okay as we study the diodes you will see this is the kind of current that a diode carries okay fine so just with nothing you know that means that means if i take a 500 coil uh, coil uh, 500 turn coil and i rotate it as fast just standing here it will give me that much amount of voltage fine obviously it will not be able to light a bulb or something at this small value 
But yes, if maybe I start turning it faster and I start making the turns more, then uh, you you can start lighting a bulb just with this. Bigger or a bigger circle. Okay, it becomes clumsy to rotate a, as as big a circle. But fine. That that is that is in a sense the that is in effect the principle that uh, that was used by Nikolai Tesla in designing a generator, right? Yeah. 